So, today is a very cloudy day. I wouldn't say very cloudy, but well, it's a cloudy day. There is no bright sunshine outside. And for a videographer and a YouTuber like me, it is bliss. Perfect bliss. There's no lots of shadows. There's no lots of like, you know, bright light coming from one direction. And ideally for a normal farmer, apart from when you're having days of harvesting, today is like the perfect day because you get to move around the farm without having lots and lots of heat disturbing you. On a day like this, I can walk for kilometers and kilometers, supervise and do a lot of the work without being disturbed. The guys who are grazing the cattle, they will really enjoy a day like this because the heat is not going to hit them, the guys who are looking after the goats and sheep. It's a perfect day for them. But for a farm that has invested heavily in stuff like this, these are solar panels that we are using to power the farm. After investing in a lot of stuff like this, today is such a terrible day because that simply means that we have no power. Oh, we have no power. So this is a small group of solar panels right here. These are eight and it's a small portion of a number of solar panels that we've installed on the farm to help us power the farm. Now, for a farm like ours, these solar panels are actually located inside the paddock. If you might look around very clearly, it might be quite hard to see. In the background, there is a few calves over there, maybe 20 or so calves, and they are feeding in the pasture in this paddock. Yeah, it's one of the best areas currently where we have lots and lots of grass because some of the other areas, they have been overfed and um, we are plowing a lot of the other areas to plant maize. It's starting to rain, so the grass is going to regrow. But because this paddock only has calves eating inside it, the grass is not eaten a lot. So we've had lots and lots of pumps. We have lots of boreholes on the farm, yeah? This is an example of one of them. You see this? This is a borehole on the farm, yeah? It was dug up and it's powered using the solar panels you just saw in the background over there. And the cattle, the chickens, the human life, the goats and the sheep all put together on the farm, we consume over 20,000 liters of water every day. 20,000, you can imagine. Now 20,000 is actually a huge number, just in case you can't imagine what it is. A 20,000 liter tank, it's really big. And I believe that's an under assumption because it was a while back that we were using 20,000 liters before we had all these chickens that we currently have on the farm. They also do consume a lot of water. So I do believe it's closer to the 30,000 mark. And as you might know, water is life. The animals cannot do without water. Now that it's raining, probably the consumption has decreased a bit, not as much as it is during the sunny season, but still, we can't compromise on the water. And we do have about three such pumps, just like the one I've just shown you, on the farm, in order to help us meet those water needs. Of course, in the near future, we're even going to need more so. We're going to have to dig more boreholes and put pumps on them to ensure that we can meet our water requirements on the farm. So how on earth do you meet such water requirements, you know? How do you be able to supply all the water that you need, all the power that you need? Because we have thousands of lights on the farm. And I literally mean thousands, not just hundreds, but thousands of lights on the farm that light up in the night, you know, inside the chicken houses, around the farm, and they all do need power. In addition to that, we are doing lots and lots of building and we have lots of welding work going on around the farm. So in order to be able to do that, we have solar panels on the farm and these solar panels actually do provide three-phase electricity. We have a battery bank of solar batteries. We can show them to you guys. Right here, you can see our solar system. This is actually three-phase solar, yeah? You can see it's a very huge bank of solar batteries. Very many. Actually, there are 48 in number, you can imagine. 48 batteries to help us store all the solar energy uh, that helps us run the farm. So having such a huge arsenal of solar batteries and solar panels has been very helpful to us in that we can actually store quite a good amount of energy to use on the farm. Now, before it was enough to take us through the night, but then with time, it's not enough. Uh, it hasn't been enough and we are building more and more stuff on the farm that actually needs lots and lots of electricity. And what that means is, for now, especially considering it's very, very cloudy, we have to rely on that. 
and that's the generator guys that's the generator room it's very very loud and as you can hear right now it's actually running it's a diesel generator now unfortunately there is no electric dampers and tractors over there in the background so that means that we have to make do with diesel tractors and machinery i don't know guys um, I, uh, some of you have experienced electric cars now i have never driven an electric car i've seen a few electric cars but well I, I don't think i'll even have the opportunity to purchase now at least for now they're not available in my country proper electric i wouldn't get a charging station but is there electric tractors and dampers i don't know in some of your countries <laughs> let me know i'll be very very curious to know in the comment section below and it looks like our luck is getting a little bit better with time the sun is slowly starting to come out so we we'll have a bit more utilization of the solar panels on the farm but because of course there's no electric trucks we have to use diesel for a lot of the vehicles on the farm literally all the vehicles on the farm have to use diesel the generators the tractors i think it's all our four tractors that we have on the farm we have an excavator we have a damper it's a huge amount of fuel that's consumed but what that means is that since we can't really fully rely on the generator we're going to have to get electricity hydroelectricity onto the farm things like the mixer right inside here we have a mixer um, for mixing the chicken feed this is where we mix our chicken feed this is where our feed meal is currently it's using diesel but as you might know that's not very nice for the environment number two and it's not very energy efficient for example compared to using electricity so we're going to get electricity onto the farm hydroelectric power onto the farm to help us power a lot of this stuff at first i was super excited about the whole idea of using solar panel to run an entire farm but as fred might prove it it looks like we're not yet ready to have the farm 100 percent run on solar if you have a few things around and you know it's just a few bulbs you don't have to for example do welding you don't have to mix lots of stuff using you know machinery you don't have too much building around to go where you need to run lots of engines maybe it might be possible that well we could have managed to succeed with only solar but with everything that's going around no way there's just no way um the solar batteries require you know they run out of power they slowly their efficiency decreases the ability to store current decreases and that means with time you're going to have to start replacing them we've already had a few of the batteries get replaced because well they got weak so it makes it a bit complicated and because of that we're going to have to install hydroelectric power and run the farm a lot of the things on the farm using hydroelectric power so i'm very very curious to know is there people outside there with huge farms or if you've worked or lived on a huge farm and it's using solar panel 100 percent i would love to share your story actually i would love to hear your experience using solar on running stuff everyday stuff in your home on a farm everyday life tell me about it i think it's a nice one but still quite complicated compared to using other sources of fuel like fossil fuel tell me about your experiences using the different sources of fuel otherwise thanks guys for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button smash that notification bell catch you very soon with another video lots of love bye, -bye.